Just hear you. Welcome back to TV Water Cooler. You know, in spite of intense public protest, we are now close to our 100th episode of this show. <laughs> but that is, oh, it's like the Chinese Olympics. But it's nothing compared to Jimmy Kimmel, who celebrated his 1,000th anniversary last week. His guests included the tanned out of the known color wheel Eva Longoria, you alleged, even see her. Yeah, alleged rap talent Kid Rock, and the always toned down Richard Simmons. And the funniest part was a memorable video that included Richard and Jimmy getting personal. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh yes, 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 yes! And this is a view I would never want to see in my shower or yours. Hi. You should clean yourself up, sweetie, okay? Remember, cleanliness is next to healthiness. Jimmy wanted Richard Simmons to leave. Wow, NFL is to discuss labor issues. Yeah, I think I'm pretty clean. I said you're not clean! Clean up! That's what Sarah Silverman gets to wake up but to. But you know what? Finally, Richard Simmons and Sam Elliott have something in common. Oh, that shows how little you know, but I'll tell you <laughs> later. Um, after the 1,000th show, there was a big bash, and Miss Strasser, if you're nasty, was there to witness all the depravity. Yes, as you know, I got my TV start writing for Win Ben Signs yes, Money. Yes, we know. We know, we know. Jimmy Kimmel was the host. Mm -hmm. And now I currently work with Jimmy's BFF, Adam Carolla, on the radio. Yes, we know, Teresa. <laughs> so I actually got an invitation to this party. You were invited to the party. Yeah. You had to clean up the tables afterwards. Yeah. But I was still invited to the party. You got to bring a date? No. But I was still you got invited. To go, yeah. Yeah. Take a look. This is so fun. I'm pretty sure they think I'm Sarah Silverman, but here's the thing. I'm not effing Matt Damon. I'm not effing Ben Affleck. But somehow, I scored an invite to Jimmy Kimmel's party to celebrate 1,000 episodes of Jimmy Kimmel Live. He's just, a, he's just a good guy, a genuinely good guy, and I think that shows through. He's wanting to show you in your best light. I watch the show every night, even when I'm not on it. He's an everyman. He's so accessible. The show is going to last 20 years, and then he's going to become baseball commissioner. Congratulations on 1,000 episodes. Thank you very much. Who have been some of your favorite guests? One of the most terrifying and fun guests to have was Mike Tyson because I really, well, the first time I had him on, I'd, I'd never met him and I had no idea what to expect. And as I was poking at him, I thought, you know, this is a guy who has eaten two ears of another human being. I don't think he would hesitate to uh, to let me have it if, if, you know, if I insulted him somehow. You would be the holy field of talk show hosts. I, you're right. Going back to your very first night on the air, you're backstage. This is a huge deal. What was going through your mind before you went out? I was terrified, and it was it's especially crazy because everyone was jammed in my dressing room. I was trying to get ready for the show. My parents were there. Uh, my whole family was there. They seemed to have no regard for the fact that I was about to go and do this show for the first time. It's like, where do you keep the... What? I'm like, will you people leave me alone? You're driving me crazy. Did you think you'd make it 1,000? Uh, yeah, I always did. I mean, I really... I, I, I try not to think negatively, and uh, I figured that... We had a good shot at doing it. I just tried to get an interview with Adam Carolla. Couldn't do it. He blew you off? I swear. <laughs> I couldn't make this up. Well, you're going to have to punish him tomorrow How? on the air. How do I do this? You could crazy glue him to his seat. <laughs> That's always a favorite. I was kind of humiliated. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, it's unacceptable. But you really made up is. for it by coming right over to me. I See feel that? better about That's, myself. You know what? That's the difference between me and Adam. He's a heartless bastard. And you're classy. And I am full of class. What did you think when you first heard he was doing Dancing with the Stars? Well, it was actually my idea, and then he fell for it. I just thought, oh, this would be great for me if he was on Dancing with the Stars. He's a pretty decent dancer. He's not bad, yeah. He's would not you bad. ever consider doing Dancing with yes. him? Yeah. No, I would never do Dancing with him. I have something called Dignity with a capital <laughs> D. What is it about Jimmy that people love? He is someone who's, who you feel like you know, I think. That's what I would guess. I really do. And you've been a guest many times. Is that weird? At first he would say that it's weird because he would be like, I feel like this is so fake because I know you and I right. know the answers to the things I'm going to ask you, so it's like corny. Did you get him anything for tonight to celebrate 1,000 episodes? No. I didn't even think about it. I feel like I know something that most people maybe don't know, which is that you met Jimmy at a very early age. Yeah, I met when I was um, uh, 12, 12 years old in Maui. I was with my family vacationing in Maui, and we met, and um, we've been lovers ever since. <laughs> you were his intern. Yes. 
I was. And As a he, kid. Yes. I, you know, it's funny. Once you're somebody's intern, you always sort of feel like you're their intern. So, I mean, he, he made me do terrible me things. He actually just asked to ask you to get him a drink. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. That, that'd that be easy. That is it from the red carpet. I think I'm going to go inside and have myself one or six Jamesons. I mean, it's for Jimmy. Who do I give this mic to, peeps? Thanks. That was fun. And look what I brought. I got this from the party. Jameson's whiskey. They gave yeah. those out? Or I took it. Either way, I got it. It's mine now. Good for you. So you accomplished something. Yes. Well, stick around because Oprah outdid herself last week with puppies and a pregnant guy. And later, cheers and cheers goes to hell. Hell's Kitchen. Oh.